CataractCoach.com. Resident Case 35 is pretty good. But what about the drapes, the incision, the hydration? I got a few suggestions. So young resident surgeon here, look at the tear film already. Just stop. Look at all the oily stuff in the tear film. Obviously, on the lower lashes that are fully exposed at the top of your screen, this is not great for you. So that obviously carries in bacteria. That's the ocular flora and all that oily stuff. It obscures your view. You don't need that kind of grief. So, okay, the incisions are good. 90 degrees apart. I like that. Barely nicking the limbo vessels. That looks pretty good. Now poking in here with the cystotome, getting a rex is done. Look at that big red spot on the, the limbal area where you grab with the forceps. So you want to learn to avoid to do that. The draping, you try it. I, listen, the, the upper lid, which is the bottom of your screen here, is draped nicely. The lower lid is not. And so try your best here. Maybe not crank the speculum quite as much. You know where you can find great videos about how to do beautiful draping? CataractCoach.com. Yeah, go to the website, not just YouTube. Leave YouTube for a second. Go to the website and check it out, and you will learn a lot. And you'll be better at doing the drapes. Now, look at this Rexus here. For case 35, pretty darn good. Too bad you're just floating underwater here with all that fluid. So you can also tilt the head a little bit. If you tilt the patient's head a little bit to the right here, then you'll get a lot of that fluid off there. Maybe put it some sort of a weck or wick, W-I-C-K, wick, to pull out some of the fluid there. And now there's the Rex is completed. Looks pretty good. Probably a five-ish Rexus, five and a half even. There's the wick going in by your attending. Good job, doctor attending there. And now more hydrodissection. Get this thing rotated. You may also benefit from a little more magnification here. Now I'm just showing you the original magnification that was sent to me. I think you probably want to operate with a little more magnification than this. Here comes the FACO probe. Because look at the screen, like only this, if you make the screen into like a hashtag, only that center one ninth of the screen is, is filled up by the, the cornea, limbus to limbus. So really, you're not making use of your, your, your view here. So groove down the middle. Look how the eye is not in primary. See that? Eye is not in primary during that groove. So that's a good indication. This is a, a newbie surgeon, a new surgeon here just learning. Eye is not staying in primary again. That's better. Keep it in primary. Get that nucleus split. And now let's see what's going on next. And now, oh, a little chop. Listen, stop and chop at case 35 is fantastic. So certainly you've got the skills. You have good hands. You're putting in great effort. You may have to record your video and even send it in. All these are great things. So my advice so far is, listen, you got to fix the draping. That's just a non-starter. Yes, it's that important. The incision's okay. I think you can see some videos on Cataract Coach. There's a whole curriculum series. You can learn from how to do a better incision. You can do a better incision than that. I think the Rex was pretty good. I think your view, you need a little more magnification here. I think you'll see a whole lot uh, better if you do that. Here, taking out the, the epinuclear shell here, using a spatula there. This is for case 35. I'm very impressed. I'd guess this is more like case you know, 75 to 100. Hey, if you go to cataractcoach.com, you will learn all this material. There's some great teaching stuff here. We've got everything you need for a curriculum series, the free Catacoach PDF book. Plus, you need to listen to the Catacoach podcast. Even if you're in another country, I know we talk in English, we talk fast, but it's an amazing amount of learning that you will not get anywhere else. This is the stuff that the senior ophthalmologists in your community are hiding from you. And I'm giving you all the secrets. Now, let's go back here and cleaning up the cortex. And looks pretty good. And again, I don't know need I don't know about using two hands for the coaxial IA probe. I don't think it's needed. You can use one hand. I don't see what the other hand does to benefit you. Maybe a little more stability, but that's just an artificial crutch. So again, eyes still in primer, which is pretty good. Here's filling the capsule bag with visco acid. Let's see the lens going in. And enlarging the incision a little bit. You may want to fixate the eye when you enlarge that incision. And now let's see the IOL going in. And here comes the lens. Looks like you're loading yourself. That's a good idea. I like to see young doctors and residents loading their own lenses so they can understand how to do that process. One day you may have a scrub tech who doesn't know how to do it, and you're the one who's got to take responsibility and handle it. All right, let's get that lens in the eye. Let's see the technique here. I like that you enlarge the incision, so it should go in pretty easily. And then nice and easy. Don't cause a decimate attachment here. Eesh, eesh. It's a little tight. I don't like that twisting thing. It should go in a lot easier than that. If you need to, slightly enlarge it more. That's okay. 
Now, here we go. Twist, twist, twist. Not my favorite. I don't like that twist. See, that's... Yeah, see, look at that. Slightly, just slightly enlarged more. Another, another fraction of a millimeter. And then deliver the lens in. Now it goes in. Get it in the capsule bag. Nice and easy. Fantastic. That looks like a single piece. Looks like a hydrophilic acrylic lens. And then going in, let's remove the viscoelastic and close the, seal these incisions, call it a day. So, so far, pretty good. Listen, for case 35, you undoubtedly have great hands. Let's just put more effort into the little things. The draping, the incision could be a little bit better. The what's with the hydration? Hey, yo, yo, yo. Well, what's all this ma mega hydration? No, there's a guy. I got videos how to do proper hydration. That is not good hydration. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you just do it right in the visual axis? No, that... Cara Coach, you said you were not going to be so critical. Okay, uh, please do a better job with hydration. Thank you. All right, and remember, check out that podcast every single Sunday, everywhere you find podcasts. You will learn so much. It is an amazing resource just for you.